You see? You see? You're tempted. I'm really not. I'm not interested, Bobby. Good night. When a potential customer sends back an email saying, not interested, or we're all set, thanks, we do it internally, or we use X provider, what does this actually mean? Here's what I'm learning from our Academy members and my own experience. It can be smart to actually respond to these, not because we're rude, we should consider responding because not interested and various forms of this often means I'm unclear about what you're saying or it might mean I'm not right now able to talk about this, or I don't have the budget right now. So as often as seven out of 10 times, signs of not interested does not mean, no, go away, jackass. It means the message sent tapped into latent interest. So here's a quick example. Jeremiah Griffin puts it very plainly. Be careful to not view statements as an objection or rejection. Instead, look for clarification and seek to understand more. He tells the story of getting a cold email from a dude selling a really interesting tool. And now Jeremiah already used a competing tool and replied, hey, thanks for the email. Currently we use X tool for that. However, Jeremiah admits, hey, I would have been curious to know the differences that this other product has because what we use currently is a big part of our process. But the rep decided to reply, that makes sense. I just checked them out. Thanks for the note. So the sales rep took Jeremiah's response as a rejection. Now, instead, a question about how it was working for Jeremiah or if there were any areas where it wasn't meeting his needs or why Jeremiah actually decided to respond at all and give this valuable information, that could have continued the conversation. Instead, Jeremiah is left thinking, well, there are zero points of differentiation. And he says, you know, a reply like mine was not an objection. It was valuable information. Yep, I agree. It could have been a conversation starter. He says that when people are currently using a tool for something, it's possible that they will be interested to understand what other tools or services exist for that same thing and if they can do it better. So likewise, Kyle Asse of MongoDB responded to a cold email with, hey, this isn't my priority. Best of luck with your outreach. And what he got back was pretty cringe. Just to confirm, closing more deals faster is it a priority? Now this technique to go back at these kinds of responses this way is actually taught by sales trainers. And the psychology unfortunately goes like this. What sales leader wouldn't want more deals faster? But here's the problem with that kind of response. The idea is to trap the prospect into a question that they can't say no to. It's very confrontational, but in a negative way. That's why going back this way risks being marked as spam. Customers who respond this way are not objecting to the proposed outcome, Kyle says. I completely agree. And Kyle says, closing more deals faster is always a priority for me. You know, in this case, I'm already working on my top priorities to help my team close deals faster. We've identified tools that support these priorities and we are in execution mode. So Kyle advises when you get a no, don't fall back on the high level outcome. Oh, you don't want to save money or in, on your HR solutions or really you don't want to reduce the risk of getting hacked or huh? you don't want your developers to be happy and productive. Of course, your buyers want those outcomes. He says, if they're making these statements, they either don't believe that you can produce that outcome or believe a different approach will work better. So Kyle says, hey, find out which of those is true and address that for better success. I totally agree. So when a potential customer sends an email saying, this isn't a priority for me right now, or we're all set, thanks, we do it internally, or we use X provider, what do these responses actually mean? Be sure to think about it. See you next time. All the best.